Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 13, Hebler Dynamics. The problem says that if arm OA rotates with a constant clockwise angular velocity of 1.5 region per second, determine the force arm OA exerts on the smooth 4 pound cylindric, cylinder B when theta equals to 45 degrees. So we have to determine the force which this arm applies on this cylinder when this theta is 45 degrees. So first we need to solve this problem by using the cylindrical coordinates. So we have to define our uh, cylindrical coordinates. So let's say that uh, the outward direction from the center of rotation is always defined as the radial axis. Let's say this is my radial axis. And the theta direction is always acting in the increasing theta direction. So the arm is rotating in the clockwise direction. So theta is increasing in the clockwise direction. So the positive theta direction will always be acting in this direction. And for this particular case, if theta is increasing in the clockwise direction, so this is our positive theta direction. Now, as we know that this wall is going to apply the normal force on this cylinder and that normal force will be perpendicular to this edge. So this is that force which the wall applies on this cylinder. So this is that normal force. And if this angle is 45 degrees, then this angle is also 45 degrees. Both of these angles are alternate angles. Similarly, this uh, arm OE is going to apply the force on this cylinder and that will be that force will be acting in the positive theta direction. Let's assume that that force is acting in the positive theta direction. So let me write that this is F OE and the weight of this uh, cylinder will be acting vertically downward. Let me represent that weight as well and that weight will be acting perpendicular to this wall edge. So this is that weight and weight is uh, 4 pounds. Now we can uh, apply the equation of motion if we know the angle of this weight with the theta axis or the radial axis. So as we can see that this theta axis is perpendicular with the radial axis and this weight is perpendicular with the horizontal direction or with the normal. So the angle between the normal and the radial direction is 45 degrees. So this means that the angle between the weight and the theta direction is 45 degrees as well. So this angle is also 45 degrees. These two vectors are perpendicular with these two vectors. So if the angle between these two vectors is 45 degrees, then the angle between these two vectors is also 45 degrees. Now we can resolve this normal force into its component. So if we resolve this normal force into its components, it will have two components. This one will be the cost component and it will have one another component that will be acting in the negative theta direction. This is the sine component. And similarly, if we resolve that weight into its components, it will have two components. Again, it will have one component which will be acting in this direction. This one will be the sine component and this one will be the cost component. But when theta is 45 degrees, the cos of 45 and sine of 45, um, both magnitudes are equal. So, so the uh, cos component and sine component both will have that same value. So now if we apply the equation of uh, motion, if I apply the summation of forces along the uh, theta direction equals to m a theta, so as we can see that in the positive theta direction, we have this FOA. So I will write FOA in the positive theta direction. And this uh, sine component of N, this is N sine of 45 degrees. So we have to write minus N sine of 45 degrees. And similarly, the cost component of the weight. So I have to write minus uh, weight. So weight is 4. 4 cos of 45 degrees and this is equal to 4, the mass is 4 divided by 32.2 into A theta. So now this is our equation 1, we have to find this A theta and similarly if I apply the summation 
of the forces along the radial direction equals to m a r so as we can see that along the radial direction we have this uh, cos component of n so i will write plus n cos of 45 degrees and this uh, sine component of the weight is acting in the negative radial direction so i will write minus uh, weight is 4 sine of 45 degrees and this is equal to the mass is again 4 pounds divided by g value which is 32.2 a r so this is equation 2 uh, we can bring this to the other side so we will have plus sine of 45 so this is plus 4 sine of 45 So let's say this is equation 2. Now we can find the n value if we know a r value. So using these equations from kinematics we can find a r and a theta. So as we can see that we need to have the double derivative of r with respect to time in this in this equation and the first derivative of r with respect to time. So as we can see if I draw a let me draw a triangle like this. Let's say if this is that triangle. So if we look into this triangle, let's say that this point is, let's say, B. So let's say this is C. That cylinder is, is located, designated by a point B. So we have this OBC triangle. So if I draw it here, this is that OBC. This is the ra radial distance. And this is 4. This is given. This is 4. So now if I apply cos of theta, if this is that theta, so from that I can write that cos of theta is base, so base is 4 and the hypotenuse is r. So from this we can say that r equals to 4 divided by cos of theta and 1 divided by cos of theta is secant theta. So I can write that radius is equal to 4 secant theta. So now this is radius as a function of theta. So if theta is increasing, then r can vary like this function. So 4 secant of theta. So now we can find our dot. So our dot is, so we have to take the derivative of this r as a function of theta with respect to time. So if we take the derivative of this, so this is 4 and the derivative of secant theta is secant theta tan theta. So I will write secant theta tan theta. And then one another derivative of theta since we need to apply the chain rule. So that will be theta dot. Now if we take one another derivative uh, with respect to time. So that will become r double dot. So then we can write that this 4. And the derivative of this will be secant theta. We have to apply the product rule, right? So we will divide it into two terms. This is secant theta tan theta into theta dot. So secant theta tan theta, and this will become theta double dot. And let me write this four outside. And then we will write plus, and then this theta dot. And then we will apply the product rule again on these two terms. So this is, I will write secant theta. And the derivative of tan theta is secant square theta plus tan theta. And the derivative of secant theta is secant theta tan theta, secant theta tan theta. And then one another derivative of theta, so that will become theta dot. So this is 4 secant theta tan theta theta double dot plus this will become secant to the power 3. So we can write that theta dot secant to the power 3 theta plus this uh, this is tan square tan square theta secant theta and this theta dot into this theta dot so this become theta dot square. So this is r double dot. Now we need to find this r or dot and r double dot when theta equals to 45 degrees. So we have to put theta equals to 45 degrees in all these equations. So this is 4 secant 45 degrees. So 4 
and secant is again cos. So we can write that 4 divided by cos of 45 degrees. So this is 5.656 and this is in, in feet since the units are given in pounds. Now in this equation, this is 4 uh, secant theta, theta is again 45, 10 theta, 10 45 and theta dot. So theta dot is given 1.5. So we have to multiply it with 1.5 as well. So we can write that as 4 into 10.45 and secant is 1 by cos. So cos of 45 into 1.5. So that gives us 8.485. So R dot is 8.485 feet per second. Similarly, our double dot, this is 4, again we have to put 45 degrees, so this is secant 45, tan 45 and theta double dot is 0 since it is said that uh, the OA arm is rotating with constant angular velocity theta dot, so theta double dot is 0. So when theta double dot is 0, so this whole term will become 0, so this is 0 plus theta dot is 1.5, 1.5 secant 45 to the power 3 plus theta dot is 1.5, 1.5 square plus uh, 1.5 square into 10 square 45 and secant 45. So now we can find this using calculator. So 4 into 1.5 secant, secant is 1 divided by cos of 45 to the power 3 plus 1.5 10 45 square and secant is again 1 divided by cos of 45. So that gives us 25.456. So our double dot is 25.456 feet per second square. Now we know uh, r, this is r value and theta is 45, this is r dot and this is r double dot. So we can use these equations to find a r and a theta. So a r, let me write that, that a r equals to r double dot value. This is r double dot. So r double dot is 25.456 minus r, r is uh, 5.656. And theta dot, so theta dot is 1.5, it is given in the problem statement, 1.5 square. And similarly, uh, a theta is r, r is again 5.656 into theta double dot, theta double dot is 0, so this term will become 0. So we will have 0 plus 2 r dot, r dot is 8.485 and theta dot. So theta dot is 1.5. So we can find both of these using calculator. So AR is uh, 25.456 minus 5.656 into 1.5 square. So this is 12.73. So AR is 12.73 feet per second square. This is AR. Similarly, A theta is 2 into 8.485 into 1.5. This is 25.455. E theta is 25.455 feet per second square. Now we can put both of these values. Let me write it here. A R is 12.73. And 
and a theta is 25.455 feet per second square. So now we can put both of these values in this equation 1 and equation 2. So if I put uh, AR in this equation, so we will have AR, this is 12.73. So we can simplify it, this is 4 into 12.73 divided by 32.2 plus 4 sine of 45. So this is 4.410. This whole term is 4.410 and if you divide it by cos of 45, so we will be able to find that n. So this answer divided by cos of 45. So that normal force is equal to 6.236. Let me write that that normal force is 6.236 pounds and similarly if I put that n and a theta value in this equation so we will be able to find FOA let me write that FOA this is equal to 4 this 4 into a theta a theta is 25.455 divided by 32.2 and we need to bring these two terms to the other side so this will become 4 cos of 45 degrees plus n n is 6.236 sine of 45 so 4 into 25.455 divided by 32.2 plus 4 cos of 45 plus 6.236 sin of 45. So that FOA that the force that the arm applies on that cylinder is equal to 10.40. So FOA equals to 10.40 pounds. So this is that force which the arm applies on that uh, cylinder which has a uh, weight of 4 pounds. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics 14th edition.